Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be having a look at one of the best Arch Linux distributions around right now on Linux Lounge. Well, as you can probably tell from the wallpaper, this here is SwagArch. Now it's based on Arch Linux, but uh, don't sort of get the wrong idea from that. This is a very, very user-friendly distribution. In fact, I would go as far to say is this is probably one of the easiest Arch Linux distributions around. Maybe topped by Manjaro, but this is closer to vanilla Arch, so you kind of have some advantages there. Now, to sort of illustrate just how good this is, I used this as my daily driver for several weeks, had no issues with it whatsoever. It was fast, stable, all the rest of it. But like I say, all around Swag Arch is great, so let's get on to reviewing it. Now, once you boot it up from the live uh, CD, you'll have the sort of Calamari's installed to use to install it, so no archway mess. Um, and so, you know, that works perfectly, unlike some other Arch Linux distributions which I've had trouble installing in the past. Um, so once you've done that, it boots up fine, as I say. Um, and then you kind of get you know, put on the desktop, which, once again, everything works perfectly. But, um, you know, sort of that's it as far as the installation goes. It's uh, as easy as it gets with Arch, in my opinion. Um, but what do you actually get with this distribution? Well, for a start, you get a, a sort of quite an interesting XFCE desktop. Uh, you sort of got Docky down here, which has uh, some icons on it, uh, and you've got a panel at the top. Now, first things that are immediately obvious, this distribution comes with Redshift, which is something that a lot more distributions need to. The idea here being, Basically, this will make your screen red at night, so to kind of reduce eye strain, um, help you sleep, what a good inclusion to have. Um, and uh, like I said, I would like to see it in more distributions, but uh, you know, you've still got an applet for managing it up here in the menu, that's good to see. Um, now as for what software you get, well, truth be told, not really a lot. And I think that's actually a good thing, because this distribution, unlike many Arch distributions, it's not overly bloated. It only comes with stuff that you would probably need. Um, you know, you've sort of got, uh, you know, all the usual stuff. Plank, as I said, Redshift, XF Burn, sort of a text editor. Uh, KeyPass XC, which is a sort of password manager, which is good if you sort of have a lot of passwords that you keep around, which... Um, like I say, good inclusion. Not many distributions come with it. Um, you've sort of got in your multimedia, you know, you've got all the usual stuff, um, or usual stuff to do the usual things. Uh, for some reason, they've opted for MPV and um, QOD Libet uh, for music and video as opposed to this Modisaw standard sort of, you know, rhythm box, VLC, whatever. But honestly, I've tried these two programs and they both work perfectly. Although it might be a little unusual if you're, say, used to uh, one of the other programs I previously mentioned. You know, in your sort of internet, you've got your uh, Firefox, not much else. Graphics, you've got GIMP and an image viewer. Like I say, it's not overly bloated. You kind of just get what you need. Interestingly, with GIMP, though, and I'd just like to show you this quickly, uh, the distribution makers have almost put their own sort of spin on it. Uh, as you can see by the custom splash screen here, but once it loads up, there's something more interesting regarding GIMP. They've kind of, as you can see, modified the layout a bit. Uh, it's all one window here, as you can see, custom icons there. Oh no, I kind of like what I've done with GIMP here. I've edited a few photos using this layout, and in a great deal many ways, I kind of prefer it to the vanilla GIMP, but um, like I say, if you're used to using the vanilla GIMP, that could sort of throw you off a bit. Um, like I say, settings, all the usual stuff. Um, but yeah, like I say, not much software bundled here, but there is what you need, which is always good in an Arch distribution, because often the I find they either don't bundle enough software or bundle too much. This, this is perfect. Everything you could need is here. You can get more. In fact, you very much can get more quite easily because there's a graphical package manager pre-installed, which is cool. 
Uh, this distribution also has a few other tweaks, like I showed you with GIM. Um, it's got a sort of custom uh, Neo Fetch theme here, which is always good to see. Um, they have their own sort of slightly modified version of another icon theme installed by default. The Arc Darker theme for GTK, which is really nice. Um, and they're using the Ubuntu font, which seems like a strange choice uh, to me initially, until I kind of started using it and realised yeah, it's a really nice modern font. Uh, this distribution generally does look really good, you know. Um, another strange mod is you can't right click on the desktop, but uh, you know, like I say, it's kind of just the image that they were going for with this desktop. Got a few nice wallpapers on the point of everything looking nice. As you can see, they all look great with the pre-installed icon theme. Um, and all in all, that's all there really is to say about this distribution. Absolutely brilliant arch uh, sort of distribution. Makes it incredibly easy to use sort of close to vanilla arch. Like I say, this virtually is vanilla arch. Sort of um, no issues with it. Massively stable. Really quick from what I've used. Um, all in all, all I can say is, if you like Arch, or even if you don't, I would give this a go, because this is a brilliant Linux distribution, absolutely amazing. Um, but that's it, thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.